Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV Heaven's Ward. What? Fifteen? <laughs> Final Fantasy XV Heaven's Ward. I didn't hear about that expansion space. Did it come out with the PC launch? Yep. Oh. Anyways, I'm Tiber. This is a douchebag who is getting everything he deserved. I didn't think it was that bad. Ha ha ha, that's what you get for wearing stupid <laughs> lipstick. Dumbass. He's even changed shades since we last saw him. Ah, power, how can this be? Tall back! Because you're weak. I thought you said tall back there. I was about to say, what's tall back? And we just watch him go. Hey, we're actually moving for a change. Is that the Enterprise? That looks like the Enterprise. <laughs> Apparently, it was called Enterprise. land in the courtyard. <sighs> what was that? Apparently it was called the Enterprise in Japan, according to her. Why are we over a pit? We're in the tower. Wait, are we escorting him away on the Enterprise? I Why is the Enterprise is, helping them? I don't think that is the Enterprise. Well, it's hard to tell. It looks like just, just like every other airship. Yes, so it does. The Enterprise does look like every Mama, other please. airship. Too late, my friend. Oh. Well, we're so happy with him. Fuck it up. Nidhogg is fallen. There is no need for further deception. Oh, nice. Now is the time to renounce the lies which led us down this path. Quit whining. To start Take a new. Ass. And tear down the very pillars of our society. The shoot. Our history. Our values. Everything we have built over a thousand years? <sighs> a fool to the last. It needs not what to you have is a pile of gold. gold. You know? Hmm. Can we go kick his ass? Who okay. the hell right is that? You too. Oh god, it's oh. Lord Gwen! Oh shit! Look out. That can't be good. Oh crap! Think... Oh, That's shit. a pre nerf lightning bolt! That is a pre nerf lightning spear. No, I would have been fine. Oh! You're dead. You know, this would be the time to dodge the. Oh, right. Oh. Well. That's a fatal blow. Son of a bish! Ha! Huh. Go, as Isla awaits. Lord Orshafon. You know, hmm. I do have magic nullifying abilities as a black mage, so you know. I, I could have tanked that pretty easy. <laughs> no, he's dead. Get. Hey, the Holy See has flown. City's ours now. Bye, bitch. <laughs> holy See? More like the Holy Flea. Yep. Bye, not the Enterprise. You. That's what you get for you using standard unharmed. issue. Hey, you know, he's still, it's still glowing. Uh, he's alive, which means space could just turn into a white mage and heal him. Yeah, hi. Right. I'd have been fine. I can respawn. I could have dodged. Do not look at me so. A smile. Ah, we could have been married, but now <laughs> we won't. Oh well. Aw. Do not look at me so. A smile is better suits a hero. Hmm. <laughs> Well, he's a martyr now. We've won. <coughs> huh, it's a knight's honor to give his life. Uh, come on, Axe. Oh, whatever. Well, now we've got another reason to kill the Pope. Yep. Ah, well. His stomach is still glowing. 
Yes, it is. It seemed like a rather powerful spell that had some self-propulsion to itself. So, you know. Mm. A little bit. You did pretty good, right up until you died. <laughs> That's generally what people do. Very good until they die. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. The others, they... They're gathered in four temps manner. City is ours now. We roll. We win. Do -do 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 -do. I don't think about it. I think I'm using the exact same shield he is. Shield! You're using the same shield! Hey, mister, we are using the same shield! Yep. How much better are these? 28, 23. Eh, not massively, but whatever. Next or such green. The others are. Please, enter. Sisters. Sorry, I was like changing my earrings and shit. No, I'm coming now. lives to serve, to protect, to sacrifice. There is no greater calling. Leave me to mourn and give chase for my son and for the nation he loved. Go! Ha! Huh. Do you see the light suddenly fade from the window? Hmm. Yep. His sacrifice shall not be forgotten. My son. If only he had had my shield and the hallowed... Oh my god, that's the worst part. I have an ability that makes me invulnerable for eight seconds. <laughs> Ten seconds. See, I just have to do this. Space, space. I just have to do this. Yeah, but while well, you got like a thing against your shield, trying to do that. Well, you see, here's here's how it would work. Ding. Okay. Side step. Yeah. I could not yeah. stand there in silence, but when all of those had forsaken us, Lord Harshbone took us in, our beacon of hope in a world of darkness. He did his utmost to raise our spirits, and so we must face the troubles with courage and conviction. So we might face them as... as knights. Well, oh, don't tell me he's gonna, like, become a sword user with knightly swords and stuff. I... we must press on with our mission. Tartru, pray, return to your duties in the Forgotten Night. Why would you think that? <laughs> Let us go and speak with uh, Sir Emmerich, because he's going to be a knight, he said. Mm. Scythia. Saharazan. I worry well for his well-being. Besides, what happened to that feather you love so much? That feather is only takes you up to level 20, I believe, on any class. Cool. You wore it for so long. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, also, there's another feather I have that is, what do you call it, for archers and stuff. Uh, the broom. Or no, the forgotten knight. My mistake. Forgotten knight. <laughs> Why am I following you? Why am I following you? <laughs> I honestly don't know. I was trying to follow you. You were running in circles and I was chasing after you. <laughs> you were but chasing, I was after, chasing me. after you. So we're just running in circles. Dogs going, where, 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 where? Couple nice. of dragon girls on their own tails. <coughs> I got your tail. I got your tail. <laughs> no, I take my right, tail no, away. Well, right. take oh, your tail. Oh, we weren't supposed to come in here. Ah. Uh. 
What? I thought you said we were supposed to come in at the end. Yeah, the Forgotten Night. Oh. No, wait, yeah. Forgotten Night. We're not going to the inn. We're going next to the inn. That's near enough. Permanent. We're going to the knight's place. An audience with the Lord Commander? Yes. Yes, of course. Proceed to the seat of the Lord Commander. Yes. Damn it. Hi there, Emmerich. My friends, I am in your debt. I like how they started voicing Think nothing of it. Proper. The wounds are healing well, I trust. Well, as the game is done, they have more money to do so. Well, some wounds do not heal. They could have done what Blade and Soul did and only voice the story, main story cutscenes. Like they're doing this is a main story cutscene. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. We're seeing the past the again. Family. The scriptures, a thousand years of lies, all to deceive the common man. Nay, our own brothers and sisters. For the blood of the Knights Twelve flows within all our veins. You knew this to be true. You knew, and you concealed it. I should be interested to hear how you came by this knowledge. But yes, you have the right of it. The architects of Ishgard, King Thorden and his knights twelve, entrapped and butchered the great worm, Ratatoske, that they might partake of her eyes and thereby transcend their mortal limits. Upon learning of their treachery, Nidhogg was consumed with a murderous and justified rage. I dare say you know what followed. The Great Worm slew the king and half of his knights. Nay. Aye, but Nidhogg was oh. subdued, and his eyes plucked from their sockets by the knights that remained. I thought the king their right one mistake. Me was to show mercy. No, that was the prince. But from his brother Reisvelger mm -hmm. did Nidhogg receive a new eye, thus rejuvenating his form and empowering him to embark upon an eternal quest for vengeance. Whilst Thorden's son Haldreth took one of Nidhogg's eyes and learned to wield its power in defense of his people. Thus was the first Azure Dragoon born, and ever since that time, his honored successors have risen to drive Nidhogg from our lands whenever the worm has returned to plague us. So nice having other I people ask voice you, things. My son, will you yeah. answer for my sin? Will your son and his son answer for me as well? What do you mean? If a man cannot atone for his sins in the course of his all too fleeting life, must his progeny then be held to account? Must every subsequent generation be judged as well? Thorin's betrayal of Robert no, Oscar was an system. unconscionable, unforgivable sin. Should we then, as his descendants, meekly surrender ourselves to an eternity of punishment? Nay, say I, I would not see our children sacrificed in a vain attempt to appease an implacable foe. Dragons are not like us, my son. To they who live forever, the wrongs of antiquity are as those of yesterday. No reparations shall ever suffice. This fact alone should serve as ample justification for our actions. Yet some refuse to see it as such. For men like you, who yearn to commit themselves to a nobler cause, a more compelling narrative is required. This is your solution. This is how you protect our people. 
You have given us a lost cause, a death sentence, with your compelling narrative. You but doom our countrymen to give their lives for a lie. And they do so gladly. Highborn and lowborn alike are proud to serve, to fight and die for their country. And what would you say to them? What would you tell the wives who have lost their husbands? The mothers who have lost their sons? That their loved ones died for naught? I... Uh... They died Over for the course of a thousand them. years, well, told. countless men have donned these robes, and every one of them came to accept the necessity of this solution. Once, I hoped you might come to accept it as well. <laughs> Do not despair, my son. Soon I shall free us from the sins of antiquity and bring about the change you so fervently desire. You're going to try and kill old dragons, aren't you? I bet he will. If he has spoken with others... Or turned everyone into dragons. dragons. Escort him to a cell and question him. Thoroughly. Your Eminence. And right there's where you lost all legitimacy. Huh. You saw something, did you not? A vision of the past? Yeah, I had a vision of when they were talking to each other and stuff. So this is the power of the Echo. Would that it had shown you a, a finer moment from my past. Hmm. T'was an exercise in futility, as you saw. Faced with the firmity of his conviction and his many ready rejoinders, my words deserted me. To be frank, I am embarrassed to recall it. A friend once impressed upon me the importance of differentiating between words, deeds, and beliefs. Were he here, I suspect he would judge your father's conviction to be no more than rank, self-serving delusion. <laughs> Even so, I cannot help but wonder what manner of change he intends to bring about. I have given some thought to that as well. During the battle within the vault, the Heaven's Ward demonstrated strange and unnatural abilities. Aye, the manner in which Sir Zephyrin struck down Lord Horshafon was unlike anything I've ever seen before. The spectacle called to mind King Thordon and his Knights Twelve as they are depicted in scripture. Holy powers and all. Mere fabrications, which have become objects of faith, instilled with the belief of countless devoted souls. Seven hells! If Lady Iceheart can use her own body as a vessel for summoning, I see no reason why others could not. Are the Heaven's Ward truly so reckless? Yes. Unbelievable. Not really much to say other than yes, at that. As they fled, really my father spoke of Aziz's love. Though I know not what he intends, I fear no good shall come of it. His ambitions are too great, and his minions too powerful. We must find the Heaven's Ward, and stop my father before it is too late. Mistress is Boar, Master Alphano, and I, Emmerich, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights of Ishgard, do hereby entreat the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn.
Also, Tiber, you went completely silent. Well, there was nothing for me to say. Okay. <laughs> Our aid in providing whatever the Archbishop intends. Our aid in providing whatever the Archbishop intends. <sighs> We're gonna kill him. Your aid will bring him to justice. <coughs> Too much blood has been spilled and the lies he perpetrated. No more. Ah. Uh... Ooh. I shall pursue Ooh. him to the end of the world if I must, yeah? Yeah, you can choose that one. Okay. I'm choosing the other option. Yeah, life for life. I thank you, sisters. I have heard many men make such pleas, but you, you speak in earnest. Of course, you two were close, I know. Is that what it said? Yes. Oh. Much has changed since our order's founding, but our duty in combat primal threat is not. Has not. If the Archbishop and the Heavens Ward are guilty of a crime of summoning, then Saifia Ashaharazad and I will stop them. Would that I could join you in the pursuit, but alas, my father's absence has thrown the government into chaos. Time to rewrite it! Ever since the founding of our nation, it has been the Archbishop to serve as a guiding light in the masses, a force of stability for the counterbalance of the High House's ceaseless maneuvering. Convincing the people to recognize the truth of their origins would have been difficult if not for my father's, even with my father's support. The road ahead is more than fraught with peril without it. Yet, walk it I must, for unity is more vital to our survival than ever, uh, than ever. After all, Nidhogg's death did not mark the cease of the Dravanian hostilities. Far from it. We will have need of each other in the days to come. You may ever count on my lance, Sir Enric. To my dying breath, I shall defend Ishgard from the Horde. If I may, Lord Commander, I would like to assist the Scions in their search for the Archbishop. Scythia, Sir Harazad, Master Alphano, pray, return to me outside. Sure. Very well. With me, sisters, I believe we have much to discuss. Indeed. You know, my gloves go with that armor. What, your gloves? Yeah, my furry gloves. They, mm -hmm. they actually work with that armor. I like mm -hmm. it. Dude. You say you want a revolution! But you want not but everyone to bend their knees in subservience to you. No, I just want a revolution. I don't care what happens after. Oh. <clears throat> Soleil! The Soleil is eastward bound, so I will send word to the Camp Cloudtop on and off chance that the airship will be passing nearby. Sure enough, uh, Lady Lanette informed me that they have sighted her scouts. Then the airship, then the Archbishop is somewhere in the Sea of Clouds? Or oh, was, not long ago. The airship has been, uh, since disappeared in the northern reaches of the Blue Willow Window. Alas, because the region is firmly in the hold of the Vanu Vanu, it is not easy to access the Camp Cloud Top. House uh, Helenart, Helenart? Helenart has yet established a foothold. And we will need not only our airship, but a captain bold enough to risk the beastman's wrath. I think we know the perfect candidate, sisters. Pray, let us visit, visit Master Colonel in the steel manufactory. We need to get a uh, big sim wedge. <laughs> I see. Then I will take my leave, for there are other matters which require my attention. Da 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 da. What's up? You huh? was not moved. I don't know. There's nothing I have to say. You you were not moved, we. so I was like confused. No 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 no. We we space. Our eastbound and I'm loaded up and trucking. <laughs> what? We're gonna do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go and, and a, a short, short time, time to, to get, get there. there. East Bell, just watch old bandits run! Do, 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 do. I just threw the dark and guessed. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Spokey and the Bandit. Oh, I... 
have heard the, about the song? Not heard the song. Yeah. It was fine. Well, it's you to voice. I don't know, I'll get there eventually. Hi, Sid. This is such cheerful music, given what's happening. Huh? Ah, the dastardly duo. What mistress have you... What, what mistress have you... <laughs> <laughs> what mischief have you two been getting up to lately? Well, wouldn't you like to know? Care to join in, old you man? You haven't heard, have you? I know not where to start. Well, I can get Red Bull from my sushi place. <laughs> wow. So yeah, we ended up having a friend kill. Exposition! And, like, the Holy Sea ran away and stuff. Exposition! He was a good man. Sid, have you ever heard of Aziles La? The Archbishop spoke of it before he fled. No, but it's probably some source of phenomenal cosmic power that's key to his plans. Uh, villains are always like that. From what he told the sisters, the Asians tried to tempt him as they tempted Gaius with the ultimate weapon. Even if he spoke true about playing along, I could see him attempting to seize it. As if we need another reason to pursue him. Well, I'm convinced. The Enterprise <laughs> is at your disposal. Come to the airship landing when you're ready to depart. That really didn't take much. Oh yeah, this guy's bad. Well, I'm convinced. Let's go. <laughs> well, he kind of has no reason to doubt us. I know, <laughs> so. That's just as well. After pulling you out of the fire these last few times, I reckon I was due to deliver you into it. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> kind of evil are you? He's going to be our troop transporter now. That works for me. Rapid I mean, response! Enterprise vehicle! It's driving. a little bit early, but will we leave it there? Eh, might as well. It's not like we're going to accomplish anything else before the yeah. end of the video. It's like two and a half minutes remaining. Minute. So we'll leave it there, and until next time, all the best. And. Where are you going? Oh, you want me to face Ah, uh, choose a place and stand in it! There's a book! There's a book! This weird walking book! Oh, yeah. Hulk. It's pl what? Cat? Maybe? Oh. Ah! <laughs> it was so scared it hit on the anvil. But anyway, we'll leave it there. So until next time, all the best, Adam. Um. Uh. Good night, everybody.